a big man never dies. Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia dies in 1975. A burial does not take place. His church funeral occurs only 25 years later. The reburial was organized by the Emperor Haile Selassie I Memorial Foundation, the War Veterans Association, the Crown Council in Exile, and members of the family. The memorial service took place in the Beate Mariam Church on the 2nd of November 2000. On the 5th of November 2000, the mourners and guests from abroad gathered at the biggest place in the capital of Ethiopia, Addis Abeba. The coffin with the mortal remains of the emperor is laid out at Mezcal Square, the place of the cross. The revolution of 1974 resulted in the downfall of the Ethiopian monarchy. The Provisional Military Administrative Council, called DERG, took the power. It was headed by Mengestu Haile Mariam. On the 12th of September, the emperor was dethroned and parliament dissolved. The emperor died in unknown circumstances on the 27th of August, 1975. His mortal remains have been buried secretly in the compound of the palace. Mahala was a 
የተከበራችሁ እንግዶች ከዚህ በመቀጠል ደግሞ የንጉሳውያን ቤት ሰርቶ ካይ ክቡር የንጉሳውያን ቤት ሰርቶ ካይ ለኡል በእደማርያ መኮንን አጥር ያለ ንግግር ያደርጋሉ። After the overthrow of dictator Mengesu by the Tigray People Liberation Front in 1991, the quest for his remains started. Being discovered in 1992, his bones were kept in a box in the Be'eta Mariam church in the palace terrain. Priests, deacons, choirs, and deptera of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church are present. It is not a state funeral. Nevertheless, some representatives of the diplomatic corps attend. The speeches recall the life and deeds of Emperor Haile Selassie. The emperor was a devout Christian. He promoted always his 1600 old national church. In 1959, he achieved the nominal independence with the consecration of Patriarch Basileios. For many centuries, a Coptic bishop with the rank of Metropolitan from the Egyptian Sister Church held the office. The family of Haile Selassie endeavored in several years to arrange a church funeral. To leave the father or grandfather without the requiem and the sacraments seems to be an incomplete death. The government agrees under the condition that it will be a church ceremony, not a state funeral. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Which way is Churchill Street? That way down. Yeah. The members of the family, here the granddaughters of the emperor, are living in Europe or America. They arrive for the service, like Princess Sebla Desta, after the dethronement of the emperor in 1974, most of these relatives were sent to jail, and most of them were only let out in 1989 or later.
Kita nanya dah pelat sini. Former members of the Imperial Guard watched the coffin. They wear the typical colorful striped uniform, the headgear made like a lion's mane or a baboon's mane, depending on the bravery. The manes are interfused with golden threads. They hold in their hands traditional weapons like the spear and the shield made by stretching animal hide. They wear the same uniform as the Imperial Guard during the coronation of Emperor Haile Selassie in 1930. The procession, the coffin on a lift truck ahead, follows Churchill Road up to the Church of St. George. This is where the coronation of Emperor Haile Selassie had taken place. Emperor Haile Selassie I, his name means Power of Trinity, ruled as emperor for 44 years, from 1930 to 1974. Born on the 23rd of July 1892 as Prince Tafari Makonnen, he became regent and legitimate in 1916. On the 2nd November 1930, he was crowned as Emperor in St. George. He founded several schools, sent students abroad, and established in 1951 the Haile Selassie I University in Addis Abeba. The funeral procession continues to the Holy Trinity Cathedral. Emperor Haile Selassie had decided during his lifetime to be buried there besides his late spouse, Empress Menen, who died in 1962. Today is the day. The ceremonial umbrellas are a sign of honor and dignity. The priest carries in his hand an incense burner. During the prayer for the dead, the incense lifts the soul into heaven.
the Holy Trinity Cathedral, with the full name Menberet Sabaot Kedes Selassie Cathedral, was erected by the Emperor. The first liturgy was celebrated in 1944. It became the court church, therefore two thrones lined with red velvet stand in the nave. After two modifications, the cathedral was reopened in the current form in 1968. Bishops and priests always carry a hand cross with them. As they pass by, the believers kiss the cross. This artwork, a painting of Emperor Haile Selassie inside an African map, is made on animal skin. On top of the frame, under the crown, Ethiopia. On top of the map, it reads in Amharic, Ye Selamabat, the father of peace. On the bottom of the painting follows a quotation from Emperor Haile Selassie, which reads, Education is an immortal father for humanity. Representational clothing from the imperial time can be seen occasionally, like this wine red cape. The clergy and members of other churches take part. Present, amongst others, are the Bishop of the Catholic Church and the Archbishop of the Ethiopian Catholic Church, His Eminence Berhane Jesus Serafiel. This chair is for Abune Paulos, the patriarch of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church. He is going to head the ecclesiastical ceremony. <laughs> Ambassadors from several African states are present. The Organization of African Unity, today the African Union, was co-founded by Emperor Haile Selassie in Addis Abeba in 1963. Ethiopia was never a colony, and therefore a good example for many African states. Thank you. 
The ceremony is headed, amongst others, by Bitwadet Zeuda Gebre Haywat, former president of the Imperial Parliament, and the Lord Mayor of Addis Abeba. The coffin is placed in front of the church. The national flag in the colors green, yellow and red wrap the coffin. The standard of Emperor Haile Selassie St. George is on one side and the Lion of Judah is on the other. A priest intones the songs. Church choirs, students of the Sunday schools and the Deptera, the church musicians, are wearing their white clothes and reciting the relevant songs of the Holy Yared, psalms and funeral songs from the Metzhave Gunzet, the book of embedding the dead. The sistrums, senesel, jingle rhythmically, accompanied by the mekwamiya, the prayer sticks. The big ecclesiastical drum beats the time.
His Excellency, Archbishop Abu Negarima, gives a speech in the name of the Synod. He speaks partly in Guiz, the old Ethiopian language, and partly in Amharic, the common language of Ethiopia. Even if humankind is mortal, with its deeds and contributions it will have an eternal remembrance. And that is true for the Emperor. The name of the Emperor Haile Selassie I will remain immortal. As Ethiopia is a historic national country, she got the name and place she deserved with the relentless effort of Emperor Haile Selassie I. He had ensured that the free country has an independent church administration. He used to make God the beginning and the end of his deeds. His great works included the construction of churches, the support of the religious training institutions and the facilitation of writing translation and publishing of our religious and liturgical books and his support for the religious heritages. As the prophet Joel said, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Joel 2, 32. His majesty in his time, besides being the guardian of religion, he was like an apostle and high priest for Christianity, for charity and for good deeds. The church would also transfer these inheritances to the next generation. It pays high respect to the emperor, who had always taken an extra care for it. While Emperor Haile Selassie I was still alive, he was praised for his stand on Ethiopian people's unity and prosperity. And this great stand and his contributions are being cherished after his death. <laughs> Woman <laughs> መሪካ Let's 
በዳጽፉ ጊዜ ያለ ፍርድ በግብ የተገደሉትን ነፍሳ ከመታነን እግዚአብሔር ሀገር ህይወትን መንግስተ ሰማያትን ያውሰለት የክርስቲያናችን ሁሉንም ዘወትል በጸሎት ታስባቸዋለች Female mourners are a regular part of big funerals. Their lamentations support the mourners to express their grief. The mourner mentions the name of the favorite horse of the emperor, Teklil. Traditionally, soldier and his horse had a close relationship. Victorious battle owes horses a big part. <laughs> Veterans of the war between Italy and Ethiopia grieve. In 1935, Italy occupied Ethiopia and the emperor fled into exile to Great Britain. He returned in 1941 and expelled the Italians. Veterans of the Korean War are also present. In the 1950s, Ethiopia sent a contingent of 3,600 soldiers to join the United Nations forces. Their dead comrades are buried here on the cemetery of the St. Trinity Cathedral. grandsons and great-grandsons replace the honor guards. They carry the coffin into the church. Church dignitaries, friends, diplomats and family members gather inside the church. Here, the granddaughters and great-granddaughters, Princess Sebla Desta, Mariam Senamha Selassie, Aida, Herut Desta and Sophia. A former member of the Crown Council speaks. The only daughters still alive, Princess Tenania Wark, receives it, sitting in a wheelchair. She dies in the year 2003, at an age of 91. She will be buried here, too. The granite sarcophagus of Emperor Haile Selassie is placed on the northern transept of the cathedral, alongside the casket of his late spouse, Empress Menen. Her coffin was brought up the other day, from the family crypt.
Patriarch Paulos, the fifth patriarch, dies on the 16th of August 2012. His funeral liturgy was celebrated here. He is buried in the cemetery of the cathedral, where the famous English suffragette Sylvia Pankhurst and Meles Zenawi, Prime Minister of Ethiopia, who dies in 2012, are also interred. His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, the 225th sovereign after Menelik I, son of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, elect of God, the King of Kings of Ethiopia, is officially entombed. Is this also true for the Rastafarians? They worship Emperor Haile Selassie as God and Messiah, and name themselves after his first title and name, Ras Tafari. How do they consider his funeral? A big man never dies, you see. 